Let me know, we're gonna get started. Let me know if you can see the screen. Let me know if you can hear me. Wonderful. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome everyone. If you have questions when we're going along today, feel free to type it in the room. I'm the only person that can see the writing, okay? But I will say the question out loud and respond to it, all right? Welcome. Today we're gonna talk about trading. Today's a great day to talk about trading, why? I like to focus on gaps, and the market had a beautiful gap down today. And specifically, I focus on shorts. So uh, one of the trades we did today, the day trade we did today, I did put in this plop in here today, and we'll go over it. <clears throat> but the, the strategy I train, all right, looks for momentum and volatility. Now, some of you may think the word volatility is a bad thing, but actually volatility is a good thing if you're an active trader. And you can make a lot of money with quick, fast moves, okay, with volatility. Obviously, you have to get the right, the right direction, but you have to get the direction right in every trade you take in order to make money. In order to win, you have to make money taking the trade in the right direction. And we're talking about earning $20,000 a month, but really you can earn much, much more if you know what to do. So every trade I called today worked, why? They were either day trade shorts or puts, and the market fell and many, many stocks fell. So when you get the direction right, which obviously we did today, it doesn't take that much. But again, you gotta get the direction right consistently, consistently. And that is a challenge for many people, why? They simply don't know what to do, okay? Or, 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 or they don't have a system to follow, all right? If you have questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can call me or email me after the lecture today. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype, okay? Everybody with me? And if we have time, we'll talk about the market at the end. So again, having a quality trading system is very important. Why? It'll be a lot less stressful for you to trade if you have a system that you follow that you know works consistently. Does that mean that every single trade that I take using my system works? No, some trades lose, but I have more winners than losers, okay? So say you have a system where you take 10 trades, two may lose and eight may work. So I use stops when I, when I, and I have a fixed risk when I take a trade, why? But because you can't let the losers go completely off the rails. You have to allow the winners to make more than the losers, and then also you have to have more winners. So the quality of a trading system will make it a lot easier for you to trade and a lot less stressful because you can't get away from the stress of taking risk. So say you wanna make money in the market, you can't make money unless you plop on the risk, <clears throat> okay? It's impossible to make money unless you put on risk. And whether you're risking a lot or whether you're risking a beginner amount, you're still taking risk of your hard-earned money that you earned or saved, and you wanna put that money to good use. So the idea of a system is not to have a 100% win ratio. That's impossible, and everyone that trades understands that, all right? That's why we assess our risk accordingly. But you, if you have conviction in a strategy and you believe in it and you know that it works more than it doesn't, okay, that it has high odds of working, then it will allow you to train and again, be more confident and be less stressed in your trading. And again, this is no matter what your risk is. So having a quality trading system is important. For me, it's based on gaps. I named my system the golden gap because it feels like finding gold in the market when you see a gap in the morning. Now we'll go over what a gap is here in a minute. For example, when I got up today, very early, the market was down and I had not rated the gap yet in the market, but I knew where we were that we would, we would have a good day, shorting, okay? Again, we shorted today. So when you have something that you know that you can follow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
Again, it helps you trade at a more relaxed pace, but many people don't have a system to trade. They think what they're doing is a certain system, like buying support. That's not a strategy, okay? People think it is, but it's not. Again, if we have time, I'll pull up the market and explain to you why at the end. But a system is essential to making money on a consistent basis. And not only that, having conviction in that specific system. So having conviction is an important piece of trading that many traders lack. Why? Well, for two reasons. One, they don't know what to have conviction in and lack a good strategy. That's what I was just discussing. And two, not every trade works even in a good system. I just said that too. And when traders lose in a trade, they wanna give up too quickly. Well, you can't. You have to accept the fact if you wanna do this, whether you wanna do it part-time, full-time, on the side, whatever, if you wanna risk your money in the market, even if you have a full-time job and you want to just risk money trading on the side, okay, as extra income, you have to understand that you will have some trades that don't work. That's why you have to have a fixed risk. You can't let losers get out of control. But if you have a losing trade and if you have conviction in the system, you know that you're going to get up tomorrow morning and you're going to win. So you let the loser go, okay? That's what trading is all about. And, and a lot of traders don't think like that. They're very, 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 very black and white. In order to be successful as a trader, you have to live within the gray area. It's something that you're like, oh gosh, I wish that every trade worked. Well, so do I, but that's not reality. Reality in trading is living within the gray. If you want to trade and do well, you need a good system and conviction in that system. Well, it does not mean that you will never lose. It does mean you will win more than you lose, which by the way is all that matters. And if you have conviction and you hold the conviction, you're going to do well. Of course, you need to know what to have conviction in. And that's the information I teach about my gap system in the Golden Gap course. Okay. So we were talking at the beginning about volatility. Today was a volatile day in the market. Why? Market's been trading up, 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 up. Okay. So it was a volatile day because we even looked this morning at the beginning of the day like we were going to hold, but we didn't. We fell. Okay. So volatility, it doesn't necessarily mean selling off. It could mean rallying. You saw volatility into the close. We had a big pushback and rally into the close today. That's volatility too. Volatility is anything that happens is unexpected. Unexpected, okay. Unexpected is what I mean. It could be up, it could be down. Volatility doesn't necessarily have to mean selling. But volatility means opportunity as an active trader. Why? As an active trader, you're getting the move and you're getting out. You're taking the trade, you're booking money, you're getting out. Take it, book it out. Take it, book it out. That's what you're doing as an active trader. You're not buying something, you're shorting it and holding it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay? That's long-term investing. Or swing trading you can do if you want to hold something for weeks and months, but that's not what we do. All right? I'm doing active trading, active day trading, active options trading. Okay? So here is the market. So this is a, a picture of the QQQs. Today, the market gap down. So let's go over what is a gap. A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Market closed Friday here, open here. So it closed at one price and opened at a different price. Boom, that's what it did. So volatility is something unexpected, which what did we have today? We had a rally, which was the tail, and then we broke, boom, and we sold off. And then we had more volatility into the close because we didn't close here. I snapped this at 2.04, okay? In fact, let me pull it up right now. <clears throat> I'll just pull up a live chart right now. You can see here. So you see here, we fell a little bit more from where I had that chart from earlier today. 360.93 was the low, and then we had a bounce, boom, into the close here, okay? This is volatility too. This is volatility too. It happened exactly 3.15 into the last 45 minutes of the day, okay? Everybody with me? So volatility is good, and it gets you out of a rut. A lot of people want to trend trade, well, that may work in a market like 2021, where we've had many, 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 many days where the market made new highs and rallied. That works all well and good. When the market's going and the trend is steady, 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 but that doesn't happen all the time. And in fact, that rarely, rarely, rarely happens in most years of the market. 
And really, if you look at the backdrop of what's been happening in the economy and the world, it's kind of hard to believe all the new highs that we did make this year. But remember, the market does not always follow the economy neck and neck. That's true, too. So again, volatility means great, fabulous money and profits if you know the right direction. If you went long today, you lost money. If you shorted today, you made money. Okay? So again, got to get the direction right. Very, very important. Trading is making money with moves. This is a long-term investing. And if you're the type of person where you where you're like can't shift your thinking like that, where you want to buy low and sell high and buy and hold and buy and hold, you know, if you want to be an active trader, you have to kind of shift your thinking, shift your brain a little bit. A lot of times people don't even understand the concept of shorting. Again, we're going to talk about that today too because we shorted today. I'm an expert in shorting, okay? While I do go long, I prefer to short. Why do I prefer to short? Because short moves happen fast, just like you saw today. And a lot of people don't understand shorting the market. All shorting really is, is you're taking a position and you're quote unquote betting that the stock price will drop or the market and say you short something at $10, boom. If it drops to nine, you make a buck. If you have 5,000 shares of it, you'd make what? $5,000, simple, okay? It's selling and shorting. Any questions about that? So what am I looking for every day? I get up in the morning, I look at the gap, and I look at as many gaps as I can in the pre-market in the morning. And I'm trying to determine what I call the good ones, which again, I name golden gaps, but I'm looking for institutional money, what institutions, what institutions are doing. Are they buying the stock? Are they selling the stock? That is essentially the meat and potatoes and the crux of my system. That's how I make money on a regular basis, going with the institutional money. And again, whether you're going to do this full-time or part-time, you have to consistently make money. I don't care if you trade one day a week, two days a week. You don't have to trade five days a week. Do one trade a week if you want. But the reality is you still have to have more winners than losers. So my system has a high win ratio, mainly because it really just makes a lot of sense. It's common sense because I'm following the institutional money in the market. And then I capture those moves in a small, small time frame on the chart. Okay, so I'm looking at the daily chart and I'm looking at the gap, but I'm looking for institutional money and institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. Even if you think it isn't, it is. A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market, like today, for example, or stocks and creates momentum and then it sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of the power. Who is in control? Who is in control? Who is in control today? The bears. The bears, okay? You want to be in the side of the power in order to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all time. Even if you think it's not, it is, okay? So the bears took over today. Market's still in an uptrend, but we had a bearish day in the market, okay? Any questions here so far? <clears throat> PH, that's fine if you're late. You can just listen in. Any questions? So let's get back to talking about becoming an expert, becoming a specialist, all right? I only do one thing, it's gaps. I don't do anything else. You only need to do one thing if you wanna make money in the market. What do I do? It's based on technical analysis or advanced technical analysis in the gap. It's based on reading price action in the charts. Now, while you can say, well, the market fell today because this thing, that thing, and the other, you could have said the same things two weeks ago, two months ago, and six months ago. The reality is that what is happening in live, live time is all that matters. Again, like I said, we've had terrible economic data this year, many, 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 many weeks, and the market has rallied and made a new high. We have huge, massive amounts of people still unemployed. Market's been making new highs. So it doesn't always go together hand in hand, what you think of the logic of what's happening. Look at what's happening in the country too. Look at the debt that they're talking about, the stimulus plan. You say, how could we, how could the market rally on an idea of passing something like that or drop on not passing it? Again, you can't look at that stuff. We have to look at the price because that's all that matters. Because again, think of yourself in your own little bubble, in your own little world, it's just you. You have to make money for this moment here. 
this day, this week, this hour, it's you, okay? You're chunking it out. You're not a long-term trader for this. You are a short-term active person chunking it. So comprehending how to read, define, and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader, which is what you want. Elevate yourself, your trading, your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. Today was a great example of that. I, I had conviction for some time now the market would be falling. I can't tell you the last time I did calls or even went long the market. It's been a while. While I could have at different times in the last few weeks and made money, I didn't. My expectation was that we would have a sell-off, and today we did. So I was reading the footprints in the market of the big position players, okay? And I'm reading it really before the momentum occurs. Like, we got in very early today. I sent out the options trades in the pre-market. We traded and shorted the market very quickly into the open, okay? You've got to get it before the momentum happens, all right? But you have to understand how to train with this side of power, and you need to know how to find it and spot it. And then if you can do that, then the market will be very easy for you to play. Again, it does not mean that every single trade you take is going to work. Some trades are going to lose. You account for that in the risk. But the fact is, if you have more winners and losers, you're going to be ahead. And that's what counts. And that's what matters. And that's what's going to make you successful. And again, you then can steer your own course how you want to trade. If you want to trade full time or part time or, or options or day trades or whatever you want to do. Personally, I like doing both. Some people do one. Some people do both, okay? And as far as your risk goes, it should have to do with the size of your cash account, okay? So getting back to volatility, <clears throat> you know, institutions, again, move stocks, but nothing always, always goes up forever and nothing always, always goes down forever. And that's important. It's an important concept to understand. That's why this idea of buying the dip or shorting resistance doesn't work consistently to make money. While sometimes it does, okay, it does not work consistently. And I think today people really saw that and got very, very tripped up in some things today, particularly in the market and the move it had initially out of the gate. So again, let's talk about and review what is a gap. A gap is a difference from the close of the open. So the QQQs closed at a set price on Friday, four o'clock, boom, before the weekend. We did fall on Friday, you could have shorted the market Friday. I was off last week. But technically speaking, the market closed here on Thursday, gapped down on Friday, and fell. Boom. Closed with a big fat red bar. What did we see here Friday? We saw selling. Then it closed. Then it opened here Monday. Then we rallied, made the tail. Then we dropped. Boom. Then we sold off. Okay? So the, op the close here and the open here is two different numbers. That is a gap. This is a gap down. Let's look at a gap up. Let's see if we can find any here. Oh, this is a gap up. Closed here, gapped up, rallying, trying to make a new high. This was a couple of weeks ago, beginning of September, right after Labor Day. I think it was after Labor Day. Yeah. No, it was before Labor Day. No, it was after Labor Day. And we failed. We failed to make a new high here in the queues. But this was a gap up. And we did have a green bar. Okay. Here's a rally here. This is a gap up. Close here, gapped up, rallied, boom. That was back in July. Okay. So I have one focus every single solitary day. I'm looking for the best gap to trade. Sometimes I go long, sometimes I short, but I prefer to short. So I always veer to the short side first. But I always have one focus. I'm looking for the gap. And I'm always doing it when in the pre-market. In the pre-market. That helps me focus too. And again, I name my system the golden gap because it's like finding gold of the market. Today's a great example. When you read it and can predict in the pre-market that somebody's gonna go in a certain direction before it happens, you can take a trade early in the morning between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time, get the momentum, get the move, and get out. Sometimes you can get in and out in five minutes, sometimes at a day like today, which was a power trend day for the market, which is rare, but today was a power trend day for the market. You can hold longer. You can hold longer, okay? Any questions here so far? So, again, just to review, what is a gap? A stock gap, so the opening price today, is a different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Simple. But then how do you know which gaps to trade? And how do you know which way to trade the gap? That's what I teach in my class. It's a 16-hour course. But because I know how to do that, I'm very successful. 
at predicting where something's going to go before it does it. Here is the SPY. Again, this was around 3 o'clock. This is not the close of the SPY, but this fell too. This closed here at one price, approximately 441-ish on Friday. Boom, open in the morning, right around here. It was under 436, fell today. Again, this is a big fat red bar. You could have shorted this today and made money. Now, we had done a short, or we did a short, a little bit ago, expired two weeks ago. This was an options trade. I'm showing you here if you want to trade options. I have an options newsletter. We did the 451 SPY puts. I just got done telling you for several weeks now, I've, I've ex my expectation was we'd have a drop. We did have baby little drops like this one here. Today was a big drop. This was a very nice option. This is an advanced risk here, but the contract cost was cheap. It was $1.70 to do the 451 puts. Sold at 290. This is 81% return investment. This is a good, good um, trade. Okay, the ROI, anything over 50%, I, I consider a good solid trade. This was an advanced trader risk 50 contracts, risk 8,000, profit 6,500. Let's take a look at it. So it was Friday, September 7th. This was before Labor Day. Let's go up here. I mean, September 3rd, I'm sorry. So here we did it. I called it here. And then it went boom, fell. So here's the day I sent out the trade. You take the trade when you get it. This took a little bit to drop. Boom. Okay. That was a nice trade though. So this took a little bit longer. This fell immediately. Okay. And again, this is an option. Oops. So if you were on the options newsletter, you would have received this trade to your email. Different from the day trades. Like I told you, we shorted the queues in the day trade room live this morning. And anyone wants a trial for that, you can email me if you want a trial for the room this week. But anyways, what happened there? We saw a sell-off in the SPY. We saw a sell-off in the SPY today. We saw a sell-off in the SPY since the third. So golden gaps have huge opportunity. Why? Because they spot power money. That is important. Because again, if you play with institutional money, I call it power money, what is that? Hedge funds, banks, uh, retirement funds, big, big money in the market. All the things that we trade are very, very liquid, okay? We're not trading cheap stocks or penny stocks or low float stocks or any of that stuff. We wanna be a blip in a stock. We don't wanna move it. You shouldn't be moving a stock or a stock price when you're in or out at any point in time. It will be very difficult for you to be invisible. You wanna be invisible when you're trading, okay? So how do I find golden gaps? I get up in the morning, I look for the gaps, I make a watch list, I rate every one, determine if I'm doing one thing or several things of the day, what I'm doing is a day trade, what I'm doing is an option, or what I'm doing is both. And I prep in the pre-market. So the morning time that I tr uh, spend prepping in the pre-market really, really helps me make money on the day. The more time you have in preparation pre beforehand, the better you're going to trade on the live day and the more money you're gonna make. Lots of people don't even make a determination what they're trading until after the open. That is completely insane to me. It's like they're grasping at straws, trying to see where the market's going on live time. You're, most people cannot read the market in live time accurately. That's number one. And number two, what's your strategy if you're just trading on the fly? You cannot trade on the fly. You have to be prepped and know exactly what you want to do and exactly what direction beforehand. Like I got up this morning, like I said, super duper early. I now three and a half hours for the open, what I wanted to do today. And that is, again, a huge, huge benefit of coming and learning from me. You will become a master of your own domain when you know way, way hours ahead of time and have 100% conviction in what you're doing that you know something's going to set up and go a certain way. It takes the stress off you of trading and, again, the risk because there's no way to get outside of the fact that you have to take risk in order to make money trading. Okay? That's just part of it. You have to have money to trade, and you have to have money to sign up for a class like mine to learn what I know. Any questions here so far? Or even get the trade calls? So I rate the gaps. I find them, I rate them, I use a checklist. They have to be qualified. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock. Because again, if you're, it depends what news channel you're watching. The news could be positive, the news could be negative. You're watching some channels now, COVID is over. Some channels, COVID is full on. The Delta variant, this thing, that thing. Uh, the news is so biased, and, I, and I'm speaking from personal experience, I speak on the news. I know it's biased, okay? They ask me my opinion, I give it, but I full well know that the, that the news is biased. You cannot 
preempt everything that's happening or predict it based on economic data or the news. You've got to look at what's happening in the price. It's the only way you're gonna make money, okay? Because everybody has an agenda and you have to know that going into it. When, they're, when you're watching the news or a channel or they're giving a report, they have an agenda. They want you to have a certain bias or get a certain bias, okay? For their, for their own benefit. So getting back to what I was saying about institutional money in gaps, there is only one thing and one thing only that can move the direction of a stock. It's money. Not a little bit of money, but a lot of money. Remember we were talking about big, big money, hedge fund money, not, uh, not things with low volume. I call it power money because power money is in charge. Millions and millions of shares, hundreds of thousands of shares that come in and move stocks. Power money is in stock, charge of the stock's direction and the market. Trends are set and moved by the power of money people, of which there's a lot of in the market, and there is. And even if you think they're not there, they are. Now let's talk more about gaps. Gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you denote what to do and when a change is occurring. That is how you know when the power of money will flow in the way that you need it to pay you. So like, do I always trade every single thing that gaps? No, many, 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 many on many given days, things are what I call not predictable. Like there is no play. Something could be gapping, like the market could have gapped down today. It, it was a good gap down today, it was a good short, but the market might have gapped down today and not been a good gap and not been a good play. I don't know if tomorrow is going to be a good gap or a good play. I don't know until I get up and I see it and I read it. Okay? But the bottom line is you have to pick the good ones. Not everything that gaps down is a short. Not everything that gaps down is a long. Not everything that gaps up is a long. And not everything that gaps down is a short. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. It's more complex. Easy if you understand it. Complex if you don't. Okay? So I use a 26 point checklist to determine if the gap is good, meaning if I'm going to trade it and what direction. This is the meat and potatoes of what I teach in the course. Now, some people say, well, 26 things is a lot of things. Does it take you hours and hours and hours to get ready to trade? No, I personally take my time rating gaps. I like to take my time rating gaps. I don't want to rush it, but I could rate a gap in two, three minutes. Now, if you're new and you don't know how to do it, it might take you 10 minutes. That's not the end of the world. I'm not raining 1,000 gaps every morning. I'm scanning, I'm making a small watch list, and then I rate those. So it should take you about an hour to prep in the morning. But to be honest with you, if I could find 126 things in a daily chart so that I'd never lose in a trade or increase even my win ratio to something like 95% or something crazy, I would do it. This is all the things that I figured out and this works. But the fact is that the more detailed you can be, the better you are going to be, the more money you will make, okay? All of that is important because again, the key to profits is power money and everything you can do to see that power money, to see where it's going, to read the direction, to predict it will help you trade. Some people got out of the shorts this morning. I knew we were gonna continue to drop, okay? While you could have made money quickly this morning, got in and got out and that was fine, I knew, based on the gap rating, that we would continue to fall today, okay? So these details help you uh, make a difference between winning and losing and make a difference between just winning and winning big, okay? Any questions here so far? How are we doing? So again, think intellectually about what you're doing. Just think about it. It's very, 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 very important. If you're going with the crowd of traders, then you're probably not doing that well. Why? Most traders lose money. Why? It's complicated, there's many reasons. Money management is only one factor. People say, well, I, I mismanage, I don't get out when I'm up, things like that. The bottom line is most people lose in trading because they don't know what they're doing. They just simply have no strategy or the one they have doesn't work. Because even if you had the worst money manager in the world, and I've met people like that, trust me, you still would be able to make money if you had more winners than losers. So the reality is you have to have a strategy that works. And many people don't. And they're going with the crowd. 
And it doesn't work like that. There will always be more losers than winners in the market overall in the, ref in the world of retail trading because there's always a point where you have like a triangle or like a pyramid like that where you have the people at the top and then everybody else at the bottom. You don't have to be at the top, okay? You have to be close to the top and you definitely don't want to be at the bottom, okay? And this is where many, many people are. I'll give you a good example. Here, let me pull up this whole Reddit phenomenon that's continued on and gone on this year and it's gotten completely out of control and really people have just lost and lost and lost and lost and people are stuck in this stock long and down. This is a great example. So this had, this was back, for those of you that don't know, it had a big spike up in January, February, March, it had a spike up again. People, those expectations are it's gonna have another spike. They think this time, that time, whatever. Reality is there's just no play here in this chart. It's totally messed up and screwed up ever since what happened earlier in the year and because of these chat rooms. But many people are in this that are retail traders. They have no strategy whatsoever. They're following a chat room and they're long a stock and they're risking their own money. That's really, really silly, people. There's no strategy here in this to trade. This is not a long right now. You could have shorted this today as a day in trade and got in and got out. There were other days you could have shorted this and maybe one or two days to go long this, I would not be long this long term. And it's probably lower before it's ever higher again. So people, again, are gonna lose money in this. People have lost money in this. There were a few people that made a lot and there were lots and lots of people that lost. Why? People jumped on the bandwagon and bought this here over 300. Heard terrible, terrible, terrible horror stories of people losing money in this. After it ran up here, people thought it was going to 500. It never got there. It collapsed. Collapsed all the way down here to in the 50s and people bought it in the 300s. Some people are still stuck in this and they bought it in the 300s. And, and it's not there, okay? So again, you, you don't wanna be at the bottom and you may not be at the tippy tippy top, but the closer to the top you can be, the better off you're gonna be, okay? So the Golden Gap 26 point rating system, which is what I do, which is my system and my strategy, looks at reading price action in a gap in the pre-market and predicts the direction it will go. Having conviction in a system is essential to make money. We did this today in the queues. Like I said, people got out of this, some people got out of this quick today, but I believe this would drop. Dream target was 360. It got pretty, pretty close to that today. When you're trading, a lot of times, People look at it like it's a video game, like it's a Ms. Pac-Man that they're playing. You remember years ago we used to play Pac-Man? It's, it's just not that way. You have to look at it like a business, a business model. You have a business model. You're gonna get up, you're gonna risk this much, you're gonna do these many trains, you're gonna do them if they rate this much for the gap, that's what you're gonna do. If it doesn't, you don't do anything. And that's the robotic part about it. And that's the part that I think people lose or just don't understand. But having conviction helps you make money. But the conviction is in what? In the system that you're using. The system, okay? So here was today's trade. We shorted the market. So I got up early, I called put in this, and we shorted it as a day trade. Open, rally, great entry in this, dropped. So here was, I'm gonna show you advanced trader risk and beginner trader risk, and I'm gonna show you even the cash you would have needed to do this trade. We shorted this at 368. Actually, let me let me go to the one minute here. I'm gonna just go back to the chart here. Any questions while I'm doing this? We shorted this right in here, okay? Everybody see it? And here's the whole day. And again, you could have got out in this in the morning with money, or you could have held it. Let's squish the whole day. Beautiful trade. Fell, 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 fell. In fact, what was the low of the day? Low of the day was 360.93.
And actually, if you stayed in it until the very close, you still got out with profit. We closed at 365.33. The entry today was 368. Beautiful trade. Again, that was a short. So if you shorted this, okay, at 368 and risked $2,600, Exiting at three sixty one fifty, you would have made thirteen thousand dollars today. Now, how much money would you have needed to make that? The buying power needed to take a two thousand share quantity of the market was seven hundred thirty six thousand dollars. That's not nothing in buying power. That's not cash. Again, this is a day trade on margin. This is not an options trade. I did call a put in this. You could have done that too. Cash needed to take this at a retail broker is four to one. You would have needed 184,000 in cash to do this as a day trade with 2,000 shares. Did you have to take 2,000 shares? No. I'm gonna go over a lower risk in a minute. Cash needed to take this at a prop broker is what? 73,600. That's still a decent amount of money, but that would have, the 2,000 shares is a big position in the market. This is again on margin, on margin. More than well worth it, as you can see here with the profit today. Now, if you were a beginner trader and took 500 shares, same entry, 368, <coughs> risk was $650. So if the trade would have stopped you, stopped you out, you would have lost $650. There's a difference between the stop and the margin and the buying power. Does everyone understand that? If you do not understand that, ask me a question right now and I will explain it better to you. Buying power needed to take 500 shares in the queues was 184,000 BP, not cash. At a retail broker, you would have needed 46,000 cash. At a prop broker, 18,400 for 500 shares of the market. Are you with me? Now, again, you could have bought a put. I did call a put in this too, but I'm showing you the day trade here today. Let's go back and look at the chart. So we did it, got the drop, boom. So I'm showing you. Now, what's the difference between a retail and a prop account? A prop account usually gives you, there's a lot of different ones out there, but they usually give you 10 to one margin. Retail usually gives you four to one only. You can do two to one cash overnight in a retail. Prop is a better leverage on your money. Okay, retail, you need 25,000 to even open an account and have a margin account. At a prop broker, you can open up a prop account with as little as 2,500. Any questions on that? So great short today in the market, great call in the market, early call, early call, okay? Saw it in the pre-market, we were in it early. Again, some people were long the market today. Why? Why? <coughs> market gap down to support. People are buying the dip. Market's in an uptrend. People thought the gap down was big. It was going to get bought. I can go on and on and on. Many people went long initially today. I don't know what they did at the end of the day. It looks like people went long at the end of the day too. But people went long in the morning, got stopped or were down. If you want to trade effectively, you cannot go with a crowd of day traders. While sometimes it might work, if you happen to go long GME, and follow that guy on YouTube before it blew up, you might have made money. More people lost, bought it late, didn't know what they were doing, didn't get out right or down or still in it and down. Do you understand? Going with the crowd, it's like going to a protest in New York. There's, there's like a protest every day in New York City. I live in New York. It's like a protest every day. It's, you know, you get trampled in a protest or a riot. You go with the crowd, it can be very, very dangerous. You think it's going to be safe, but it's not. Why? Because many, many people don't have a strategy, don't know what they're doing, don't have a system, have no conviction. And a lot of people, really, they, they don't even have conviction in what they're doing themselves. They take trades and then they don't even have conviction. They don't even believe in it. They just do it without even thinking. Like we're talking about, like a video game. You see how silly that is. Be honest with yourself. Again, I'll go back to the slide of the brain. Use your brain. If your brain tells you, think intellectually. This, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not gonna do it. There isn't anything good to trade today. Don't do it. I'm up a lot of money. Better get out or whatever. Okay. Any questions here?
Now we did we did a trade in this today too. We did a put in this, but I'm gonna go over the day trade from September 7th, which was here after Labor Day. We shorted Boeing. This is a little pricey too, not as much as the market. Closed here, gap down, fell, boom. So we shorted Boeing on September 7th at 215.50. I don't put the cash amount you would have needed in this, but you can figure it out yourself. Share for advanced trader, 1300. Risk was 27.95. Exit 213.62. That's a nice drop. A dollar out, two dollars out. Drops, boom, fast out. Profit in this was 2,444. So whatever you're risking, if you're risking a thousand, you should be looking to make a thousand in a in a day trade, in an equity trade. Okay, this isn't the buying power cash you need, but the amount you have at risk. Because again, I'm using a stop. It's a limit order stop. If it hits, I'm out with a loss. We almost got stopped today in the queues. We did not. We did not. We had to stop at the right place. If I'm doing an option, I'm looking for anywhere from 50% to 100%, and I'm looking at the targets. 50% is good in an option. If you're risking $1,000, $500 is a good profit. That's 50% return investment. If you're risking $1,000, you can hold to $1,000, but not every trade will be 100%. Okay? So 50% is good in an option. You're looking one-to-one -one and in a day trade. Now, when I'm trading, today, today was just a great example why I have such an edge in what I do. Because I knew, I knew that we would drop today. I didn't know exactly what time that we would do it. We did it early, but I knew that we would. So today is a great example that gives me an edge. And again, every trade worked today, and we did a lot. But the fact is, this is what counts. Just going with the crowd may sometimes work, but in the end, you're not going to go anywhere. In the end, you're going to lose. And ultimately, you will also not only shave away the money or, or, or chip away the money, I should say, in your account when you're losing, even though you might win, then lose, then win, then lose, but overall you're down, it chips away your confidence. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to since I've had the stock swish business that I've taught that have come to me and asked me questions before they've signed up for the class, and they tell me their stories. They tell me their life story. They tell me horror stories. They tell me what they've been through. Listen, it's the, the confidence or the lack thereof really chips away at people too. I mean, people can refund their trading accounts when they lose it all, when they lose. But a lot of times it's very difficult for people to get back their confidence. They lose confidence in the market. They lose confidence in paying for classes if they're ever going to learn anything. They lose confidence in risking money. They think the system's rigged. People are saying that now about GMEY. There's nothing rigged there. There's nothing rigged. No one should be in that. I mean, come on. It's like, no. You have to make good decisions and use your head. You've got to understand that having an edge is critical. Remember the pyramid. Remember the pyramid. Again, it's fatter at the bottom for a reason, smaller at the top for the reason. I live in a really high building in New York City, one of the highest residential buildings in New York. I have a fabulous, fabulous view. There's less apartments at the top. There's penthouses. Lower apartments, more apartments. Why? Rent's cheaper. Rent's cheaper at the bottom, high rent at the top. It's quality. Quality view, you pay for it. Quality system, you're gonna pay me. My class is seven grand. But again, that that extra oomph that gives you the confidence to do it will allow you to risk eight thousand dollars in a trade, will allow you to risk three thousand dollars in a trade, will allow you to risk a thousand dollars in a trade, will allow you to open up an account at all and put twenty-five grand or whatever money you have that you want to trade in to take the trades. You have to have confidence confidence to do that. Okay. Any questions here so far? So again, opportunity sets up daily. For the most part, some days we don't have any trades, but for the most part, opportunity sets up daily in golden gaps, and that's what counts to make money on a regular basis. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll see. Too early to say why tomorrow is tomorrow. I look at the gaps in the pre-market in the morning. Sometimes we have gaps at night in the post-market, but there's not much tonight. I think KB was out tonight. We can quick look at it. But it's not earning season yet. Earning season starts in October in a few weeks. That'll be the busy season, okay? I still wait for the morning to rate all my gaps. Now, September 3rd, before the holiday, we did BYND. We recently did an option in this too. Close to your gap down, fell, boom. Again, this is a gap. What did we do? We shorted it. We shorted it, it dropped, okay? So, this is a 
a little bit complicated here, but I'm showing you the 15 minute of the BYND close to your gap down fell, big fat red bar, rally, got the drop. Again, this was on 9-3. It was the Friday before Labor Day. So we did an ad in this. Why? Again, confidence, conviction, good gap. Plopped it on, okay? You can take more risk when you know what you're doing. That's just a fact. So entry was 115.60. Then I added close to the price to just squeeze more out of the trade. Then I added even more above the price, plopped it on, and the average price then was 115.86. Again, this is an advanced concept, but it's a good one. Exit 113.80. Again, squeeze more out of it by adding, adding, adding. Again, nice drop, 113.80. 20,600. Now, you would have needed, again, this was cheaper than the Qs. This is cheaper than the, the um, BA. But to take 10,000 shares of something at 115 uh, price point and change, you would have needed a good amount of buying power for this too. What if you only took 200 or 100 or 500? Again, less buying power, take less size. You can still make money. You can make money trading options with one contract. One, the one we talked about earlier, the SPY, you could have taken one, risked $160 and one contract and made money. And if you have a small account, that's exactly what you have to do. But I'm showing you here how this idea of making even 20 grand a month, you can make 20 grand in one trade, in one day, in one hour trading, you understand? You could have made that today. Any questions here so far? The only thing stopping you from taking big risk, well, there's two things. It's not just not having enough money if you don't have a big account. Even if you have a lot of money, if you don't know what to do, you're gonna lose it. There are plenty of people trading the market that have big accounts that lose money all the time. They're refunded because they have money from doing something else, but they lose. I know, I know people that are on the internet that are on these that are tweeting stuff all the time that are terrible traders. In fact, we were, we were making fun of one today because I know that he was buying the market today. He probably bought the dip all, the, all morning long, held it was down a crap load of money, and then you know added into the close, adding into a negative trade. The reality is, again, that <coughs> money is only one piece of it. If you know what to do, you could take a small account and make it a big account if you know what to do and you have confidence. You're better off doing that than having a huge amount of money and not knowing what to do and losing it. You've got to know what to do. It's extremely, extremely important. So this was a nice email from Jackie. She's been trading with me for a while. I think she did the class in 2014 or 2015. She's a, a student in the room that trains. She was a nurse. She since has quit her job. She's been with me, like I said, for several years. Now she just trades full time. And she takes a small to medium risk. She's not taking some crazy risk, okay? But she's steady, green, 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 green. Again, green and keeping the confidence. It's the earning power, earning power. When you, when you know what to do, it's, it's so important. Like, you'll, you know you can do it again then. You know what I'm saying? And just like if you have a bad day, you'll know that that's, if you're good at what you do, then you'll know that that was, an, that was just an off day. That's not gonna be your reality. But when you have bad day, bad day, bad day, one good day, bad, 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 do you see like that's when things spin out of control, that's where you start to lose the confidence and you trade nervous and you're in fear, 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 fear. So many people are in fear in the market. So many people are in fear trading. People are in fear right now. You think people aren't afraid right now after the sell-off in the market today despite the bounce into the close? No, people are afraid. High inflation, this thing, that thing, the other thing the debt ceiling, so many things. People are in fear. They go home, they're in their 401ks, they're worried, okay? So if you want to trade for a living, you've gotta be consistent, but quite frankly, I, I, I mean, if you do two trades a year, you should be, you should know what you're doing. If you want to consistently make a lot of money in the market, the only way that will happen is if you have, number one, a high winning strategy, number two, good money management, and number three, a good mentor to follow. I do my best to teach uh, with as much detail as possible. Again, the class is full on for 16 hours with, a two, with an hour lunch break each day. 
But I try to be here for people to answer questions. You can call me on the phone. You can call me on the phone after the class. You can email me. What do you think of this, Melinda? What do you think of this? What do you think of the target? I really want people to be successful, and it's one of the reasons why people like Jackie and other people, too, that have been with me for a long, long time. They don't have to be with me. They know what to do. They did the class already. They want to because they want my market expertise, on particularly like a day like today, for example. Now, as far as how much time you want to spend trading, time of the day is key. Part of the title of the webinar tonight was part-time because the hours are part-time that you trade, really, they don't have to be for it full-time. Today was an anomaly. You don't get the market power trending every day. It was in trades late today. That's not all the case. Usually, we're in and out pretty quick in the first half hour, hour of the day. Again, I'm in and out quick. If you want to trade part-time, I block out the first hour of the day to trade. If you want to just do options, you take the trade. As soon as you take it, you can put a sell order in. It's a day order. If it fills by the end of the day, you're out. If it doesn't, you're still in the option until the next day. Get up in the morning, put another sell order in. It's a cancel day order. Okay. We do not sit for six and a half hours to trade every day. The room closes in the morning early. I, I did today because it was worth it and I thought we continued to drop, but that was unusual. Okay. So if you want to trade for a living, part-time or full-time or do this, you can do it from home. Many people are still working home because of COVID and many people will be working home probably forever. The world has changed. People now are having options to work from home, which is, which is actually positive. An old trader that was with me years ago uh, could trade at work and then he got into a different office situation than he couldn't, then he had to stop. And now he's back at home so he can get back to trading. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise now. He doesn't have someone looking over his shoulder and he can do his real job and also trade on the side. So if it's more convenient, I think, now because of COVID and people working from home from the work from home situations. But the class I've always done on the weekend, because most people work during the week, you need to have your full attention during the weekend class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches you price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. Again, we did some basic coverage of this today. If you have questions, you can email me. If you have questions about the class, email me. If you want a trial for the trading room this week, you can email me too at melissa at the stockswitch.com. Again, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do the next day, the next, the next. I take it one day at a time by looking at the gaps and the market. Today just happened to be an amazing day. Now, in the class, what else will you learn? One solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power in charts. It teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction, which is critical. And it teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts, focusing on technical analysis and gaps. Because again, that's what I do. Remember, it's technical analysis. Everything is on the daily. And it teaches how to get conviction in your trading in the market as a source of wealth by trading with the side of power for consistent profit. Having booking money consistently, chunking it out, chunking it, taking a, a small account and making a big account. I had a trader that started out with $5,000. He built his account up in six weeks to $25,000. Taking good trades, booking the money, no piggy targets, okay? Chunk it out. It is very important to be green. Once you start booking money consistently, you'll, you'll be amazed if you've been lost in the past. It's the consistency that really helps you get to the next level to help you risk more money to get to that point. Okay? Again, this does not mean that every trade I take wins or call, but more win than lose. And once you see that, once you once you become part of the group and you see that, you can follow for a while. You don't even have to trade live right off the bat. Follow him. See if this works. Again, you could do a trial this week. Come in the room. We'll see what happens. All right? I call it 100% conviction, which is exactly what I said about the market today. You know, this helps me trade. It helps me take risk. It helps me put the risk on. It helps me hold something like today to a bigger target to make more money. Okay? It's up to you, you and you alone, to empower yourself to trade the market. I'm the vessel. I teach you my information. That You're paying me for my time and my information, okay? But it's you that has to do it. You're pressing the button. You're getting in. You're getting out. You have to believe in yourself. And if you don't know what to do, if you don't have the information, if you don't understand it, if you don't have the knowledge, how are you going to feel empowered? 
How are you going to feel independent? The whole idea of making money from the market is something that you're doing independent. You're not going to work and making, you know, like, I don't know, widgets, okay? When you make money in the market, if you made $500 today, you took that money from somebody else. You were smarter than the person that lost. That $500 you made, you took away from a person. Could be somebody you know. Could be somebody you don't know. Always know your enemy who's on the opposite side of a trade. Again, I talked about that a little bit with I know what some people are doing on the net. Not that I follow those people, but I'm aware how my enemies are thinking against me in trades. I understand the logic of what they're thinking, even though I know they're wrong and I'm right. At the end of the day, who is in the right? The one that wins, the one that wins the most. Understanding that that is the goal, okay? So if you want to sign up, the class is this weekend. It's called the Golden Gap Course. I'm doing a special for earnings season because this is the last class before earnings season. And this is a great offer. The normal price of the class tuition is $6,999. I'm offering the trading room free for one year and the Gap Options newsletter free for one year with the class this weekend. You must sign up by Friday. If you cannot do this class, if you sign up and pay by Friday, you can do the class in October which is, I think, October 9th and 10th. It's a, it's a weekend class. Let me just double check the dates. Yeah, 9th and 10th. But this weekend's class is September 25th and 26th. It's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, I'm in New York. What will you learn? It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The benefit of this special is that you're going to get all the trades for one year free, plus you take the class and learn it. So that gives you plenty of time to decide if you want to do options, day trades, both. Personally, I like both. I like the big moves of the overnights. And I like the fast money in the day trades. You do not need a margin account to do options. Unless you want to be in, out, in, out, in, out, margin, uh, in options. You can open up a cash account as well for options. But you need an, a margin account in order to do day trades. Okay? Any questions here so far? If you would like a trial, email me. Let's see where the market is right now. Before we go, 